I am here with John Wolf, the chair of the theater and dance department here at Wayne State University. Welcome to Detroit Performs, John. Thank you, appreciate it. Uh, all right, John, so this place obviously brings back so many memories for me being a performer here, but can you tell our Detroit Performers audience, what kind of performances do you actually have here in the Hillbury? Well, as you know, this is based in a classical training program. So we do a lot of classical theater. This year we'll open with Macbeth. Later on, we'll do a contemporary version of Moliere's The Doctor in Spite of Himself. But we also offer lots of other comedies, some thoughtful dramas, old favorites. We have Moon Over Buffalo, Big Love, um, Gross Indecencies, mm -hmm. The Three Trials of Oscar Wilde. And then at the end of the season, we're gonna bring a much more contemporary play. In fact, it's the 2007 a Pulitzer Prize and Tony Award winner, Augusto Osage County. So we try to create um, a nice variety for our audience. All right, and so what kind of performers actually perform here on the Hillbury stage? Well, the Hillbury stage is specifically for our graduate acting company and design and management company. Students come from all over the United States. This year we have actors from Seattle, New York. We have management students from as far away as Georgia, Connecticut. So we have students from all over the country who come here to be a part of our repertory theater. The rep it's the only repertory graduate theater company in the nation. Mm. It starts with them. Occasionally some less extensive roles might be handled by some undergraduate students. <laughs> I.e. me, back yes, in the day. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And this year, because August Osage County is such a large cast, yeah. Um, we are hoping to bring in a couple of professionals to work on the stage with the students also so they can make a few more contacts in the, in the business. All right. So what kind of audiences do you actually have here at the Hillbury Theater? No, our audiences are incredibly diverse. <laughs> um, of course, we have the ticket holders that have come for decades. Okay. Um, we are grateful to their constant support. Um, and they, they fill us up pretty well. We're very pleased to have such a large number. We then have a lot of young professionals that are looking for affordable, quality entertainment. Mm -hmm. You come to Midtown, perhaps they live in Midtown or downtown now, and so we become a nice place for them to go for a night out. And then of course there's the medical school and the law school and the graduate students and undergraduate students from on campus who we also um, like to bring into the theater. Mm -hmm. um, let's be clear, we have lots of seats available. Okay. So more people can come. So why is the Hillbury Theater so important to the Detroit art scene? Well, this is our 51st season, so we have a long tradition, which be, I think begins as the basis for why we're important. Um, on top of that, it's we have bring 30, 33,000 people came last year to Midtown to see plays here at the Hillbury and the Bond Stell mm -hmm. um, on down Woodward Avenue. So that's important. Absolutely. Um, along with that, we have our student matinee program. And so we reach to students throughout the entire metropolitan area. And students come in to see plays, typically plays that are on their high school or middle school reading list. So we try to augment their education as well as expose them to live theater. And then we also have a number of matinees for younger children and families that are uh, available to them. What inspires you though? What inspires you and what inspires the people that come in through these doors? Oh, great storytelling. Okay. Theater is about stories, having great stories that we tell. And then it's about that interaction, that personal interaction between the audience member and the actors on stage and what's happening. And what intrigues me the most as a, as a theater practitioner um, and as an audience member is the engagement of my imagination mm -hmm. and the imagination of of the audience, that they're willing to come in and believe what we're telling them. They buy the conceits and the concepts of that production to become part of and share that experience with us. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you so much, John. Thank this you. has been great, man. With no publicity, only word of mouth, over 500 Detroiters have been flocking to an abandoned field every summer Sunday for over 10 years to hear the blues.